Guys, I got the two inch springs on. Check out how tiny they are. Let me do a comparison here. We'll get a couple chrome boys out. There's the chrome ones. So I sat on it and it is just about right where I want it. So um, now, weather permitting, I maybe I'll be able to take it out soon. So basically, what's going to happen is when I sit on it, I'm going to be kind of like sitting right back in this area here. So this is necessary. They're not much of a spring rate, but um, you know, that's what I want. So I could sit further back on the seat. I'll actually be sitting on the back of the seat and partially on that rear fender bib. So that gives me more leg room and I can have my legs stretched out in true chopper fashion. In true, I should say in true chopper etiquette. And it's cool. If that works out, we'll put a brown one in there. Now, I tried the curved seat. Let me get let me put the curved one on there. Okay, the curved one. See the whole problem with the curved one is since there's more this is a high back bobber seat. Since it's high backed, I can't sit on the back like I that's the way I like to sit. I like to sit on the back of the seat. This pushes me forward. In order for me to use this, what I have to do is I would have to move these bolts up to, I'd have to move them up about an inch and a half, which is no problem. I might, I might do that. These are going to have to be ground down, have to be ground off, and then I'd have to weld new ones about right there, somewhere like right in here. And um, then, along with my custom bracket I made, wherever my custom bracket is, I forgot what the hell I did with it. All right, here's my custom bracket. So I welded it, welded the front, welded the back, and I welded the sides so that'll never come off. I could always use this, just there's going to be, and I, I guess once it's painted black, it'll look okay. So I might, I don't know, I might put the other, I have to try it out first, guys. You know, which, whichever one's better. I mean, if that works out for me, I'm not going to put the labor into that of the seat. I'll save that seat there for the Honda Rebel. But um, I really like these these miniature springs here. I think I'm going to get a set of these for the Honda Rebel. They're two-inch springs. And they're not as strong as the three-inch ones. So the seat doesn't hit the fender. But, uh, I mean, it's almost rigid. You know, there's just a little bit of bounce in there. Not much. It's, I mean, if you put those on, don't expect a soft ride. It's just mainly for coolness and to allow that kind of seat on there. That's what you're going to have to do if you want, uh, if you want a low profile solo bobber seat on there, you're going to have to go with the two inch springs. So it looks like it's going to work out. <clears throat> we'll spray paint the bracket black, or maybe, maybe I'll leave it like that. I don't know. That might look maybe if I spray paint like a dark brown, that way it'll mix in with there. So okay, guys. Now next is the brakes. Like I said, I I, I like that seat better. The um, the factory seat it just it takes up just a lot. You know, and now since I went with the brown leather scheme, I got the brown coming down. You know, now we're going to get a brown seat for that. 
that way everything's color everything's color matched so I mean I could even leave that in there because you know a seat's black that's what they're supposed to be black so alright I'll catch you all later